Oh, hello there. You know me. My name is Sidney J. Flossen IV, President and CEO of Flossco International, the world's leading producer of Floss, America's favorite mouth-related product. Oh, but don't take it from me. Take it from your good friend and mine, the beloved and wacky Senor Floss. Senor Floss here reminding you that even if you're short, fat, ugly, or that kid, nothing gives the pleasure that everyone can enjoy from a good flossing. Come with me and I'll show you what I mean. Mr. Flossin, Mr. Flossin, and you would be. I'm Bert Sangley, a member of the uh, research department in your firm. I'm testing a floss on animals. It's a new product called Floss for Pets. But there's a little problem. I've been taking the floss and I've been trying to floss the animals. But the animals aren't being very agreeable. The iguanas have started throwing up all over the place. It was disgusting. I tried to floss one of the chickens and it lost all its feathers. They were scattered around the room. I tried to floss a rhino, he ran right through the lab door. I even tried to floss one of the elephants, he started waving his tongue everywhere. It was horrible. This hardly seems like anything to be throwing a tiffy over. And I'm absolutely positive it has nothing to do with any of our human-related, mouth-related products. No! You don't understand! It's the same product, but in a smaller box! It's... Just a marketing ploy! Yes. Well, let me tell you another marketing ploy, Dr. Bird Sandy. Perhaps you've heard of penicillin. Yes, at one point a lot of people didn't know what it could do, but then it saved the lives of many a puppy dog and little boy. But then you wouldn't know about that now, would you? Let me ask you a question, Dr. Bird Sangley. How many scientists do you think have ever existed? Well, I'll tell you, over 300 million, and that's not even including the countless Mesopotamian scientists who discovered something every day. They had nothing else to do, that's all they did was discover. Now let me tell you something. By you discovering this error, this discrepancy in the Flosco formula, what you are effectively saying is that everything that every scientist has ever discovered has been a joke. Now get the hell out of my office! I'm sorry, Mr. Flossen. I, I'm really sorry. However, it is a danger to humankind, so uh, I'll get my best man on. Oh, and keep it hush hush, will you? <laughs> sure, Mr. Flossen. No problem. I hush hush. I am listening. Oh, yes, well, I'm glad I reached you. Listen, I need a man killed. Then you have dialed the right number. Yes, well, I know your reputation precedes you. I understand you've killed quite a few men. If by quite a few men, you mean to say many, many, many men, and if by many men, you mean 64 men, then you are correct. Yes, well, you see, the man I need killed is a scientist who works in my company, a man named Dr. Bird Sangley. Bird, you say? If this person is your bird, then truly I will be your bird catcher. Not only will I kill this man, but I will do it without my hands. Uh, as long as he's killed, it really doesn't matter how you do it. Uh... A man who kills with his hands He's like an oven that can bake a bun, but the man who kills another man without his hands is like a slightly smaller oven that has been cut in half by lightning, but can bake twice as many buns with his pride alone. Do you see? I don't really know. A jungle cat that can pounce on his prey and kill it is truly a formidable animal, but a slightly smaller jungle cat that has had its tail cut off or maybe has been castrated by a wild boar that can fell the same animal that 
smaller, more handicapped jungle cat can be up to three times as deadly. Do you see what I am saying to you? Look, as long as he's killed, I don't really care. Just make sure it's done. Uh, goodbye. And I do not know you!